What is going on, YouTube? My name is Daniel, and this is Angela, and we are Sushi for Two. Sushi for freaking two. Welcome back to our channel. So today we both are getting ready to rumble. That was good. All right, well, that's what we're going to be doing today. And here's the difference: we're not going to be rumbling with each other because on this episode we're going to be working basically together, together on this one challenge. Instead of me challenging her or her challenging me, we're going to be working on a challenge together. And that challenge is going to be revealed right after this intro. So we'll be right back. You're screaming. Energize. Doesn't mean you have to be like hostile. We're back just like that the intro's over we're ready to rock and rumble just like i said earlier within five seconds ago yes okay so for the challenge here today we're going to be doing what would be called a try not to spit water out of your mouth mad libs edition don't know if that makes sense but that's what we're going to be going with all right you want to tell them what we're going to be doing today yeah so we're going to be doing mad libs um and then we're going to be saying the words that we should put in and then at the end, the person that's writing down the words is going to read the story, but the other person has to have water in their mouth when they're reading the story. Yeah, that makes sense? That ma and I then if that they, they need to make sure not to spit it out because hopefully it'll be funny. Um, and then if they spit the water out, they obviously lose. So I'm going to win. You think so? Yes. Uh, th there's only one rule to this challenge, and that is not to spit water onto the camera because that'll be the end of Sushi for Two as Fourth we know. Or the table. What's so on the table? I told you, I told you, be very careful with it. This All is right. our new table. With that being said, we're now going to transition to the first story. Angela's going to be the first one giving us some nice and lovely adjectives that we're going to fill out on this piece of paper. It's not just adjectives. Uh, the whole, whole spectrum, whole shebang. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay. okay, with that being said, let's transition into the first one. You ready? Yes. All right, let's do this. Angela, yes. are you ready for yes. your, uh, what is called a summer love story? I'm ready. So it's going to be a little fascinating once we read all these words together. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, so we have all the words listed down on this lovely summer love story. What you have to do now is fill your mouth up with water. And I'm gonna read but you I, a lovely story. Well, I always laugh at everything though. So like, okay, how much water do I have to drink? Full mouth. Stop. It has to be full mouth. Okay. It's, what it, it's the rules. Let me just get my laughter out. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna cover the table because it's gonna be bad in here. Yay, my poor little table. My poor little table. What? I was, I was feeling bad for the table. Yes, and now I'm ready for the challenge. Okay. Are you ready to Hold hear on. My mouth is not a full. summer love story? Though. I'm ready. You ready? Don't drink it. Okay. That's not what it's for. All right? All right, so let's start off the story, everybody, shall we? It was a smelly summer afternoon when he runs by me and said, hey, my eyes walking as my heartbeat fluttered. In that instance, I knew Angela and I would love each other for seven years. <laughs> hey, I said back. Then he looked deep into my arm and replied, stop, you are the most likely to succeed girl I have ever seen. <laughs> Don't drink it. We sat in the Paris and stared at each other for hours. <laughs> Ew! I have to swallow it. Hold on. That is so... <laughs> That's a one big... <laughs> for you. <laughs> Full mouth, please. Can you show it to the camera? <laughs> Alright, so... Back to where we left off. Mm -hmm. We sat in the pairs and stared at each other for hours. As his hand quietly touched my hand, sparks flew. 
we talked about school and other important details of our lives. He loved tacos. And most importantly, llamas. Almost as much as I loved them. He offered to show me his landfill collection. <laughs> For 94 days, we talked and, and jump. <laughs> the warm summer days turned filthy and he had to leave. <laughs> I didn't even get to say peace out. <laughs> That's the end of the story. Okay, that was very funny. So, it's finally my turn to see how many times I could probably spit out that water, and I have a feeling it's gonna be much more than one time. Um, so we're, we're in for a doozy. So, Angela, why don't you tell everybody what's the name of the story I'll be taking care of? The Job Interview from Hell. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Didn't we have tons of those, huh? <laughs> Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. The Job Interview from Hell. All the words I picked out was like words that came to me first if I was to describe a job interview from Mel. Yeah. So. But this, like, okay, take some water and I'll explain. You go first. You go first? What do you mean? I what, go first. You said explain. I'll explain what's your <laughs> That stuff. We're a kid friendly well, channel. You can, you can bleep me. Go. No. Bleep you. What do you mean bleep you? Bleep me. <laughs> I mean, like, bleep what he said. We can't, we can't even monetize our content okay. yet, and we already got demonetized. Go, go, go. God, those damn gulps of yours. Okay, so this story is called The Job Interview from Hell. Um, I didn't notice when printing it out that it was actually, like, so literal, but it's okay. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Thumbs up? <laughs> okay, I, I, oh, God. I scoured my closet for the perfect boxers to wear. Dressing for the filthiest place around isn't easy. <sighs> Don't hold it in. So <laughs> Don't put your hands down. Put them behind your back. <sighs> Sweating dumpsters during the interview <laughs> is a sure sign of <laughs> It's fine. One for one. Sweating dumpsters. During the interview is a sure sign of weakness. I, rem I must remember to play up my strengths. Golf, menacing stares, and mother collecting. <laughs> it has always been a dream of mine to work with the angel of death or manager devil. <laughs> the power and prestige are slowly desirable. The gates of McDonald's tower above me as I ring the doorbell. I can't believe low is the doorbell. Halt. His black jock strap looks better. Better in person. <laughs> okay, you definitely lost, honey. <laughs> is our table okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Come on. Black jock strap. <laughs> it looks better. Who's breaking the table? It looks better in person. Okay, ready? The devil. Apparently this is an interview actually in hell. Okay, the devil. Welcome to hell. Your interview will fart now. <laughs> Me, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Leonardo DiCaprio. The devil, who cares? I have only one question. Do you hate nutty bars? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Do you hate nutty bars? Are you ready to continue? Is it full? Yes. Me. Yes. Yes, I do. I hate them more than fire hydrants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Keep it in, man. Just keep it in. You lost though, so it's okay. The devil. You're hired. Wait. Is that a shirt you're wearing? <laughs> no, me. No, it's actually a smelly suit. <laughs> the devil. You're fired. Maybe you should pursue a career in biotechnology. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, based on the footage that just happened, 
I lost. I won. But I think it's a little unfair. <laughs> the words I chose were just naturally much funnier. <laughs> My words were funny too. You laughed. Here's the thing. We're gonna do one more round just to see if my hypothesis is correct. And what we're gonna do is she's gonna do one more of the Mad Libs with me. I'm going to fill in the blanks, but we're gonna see if she can only hold in the water in her mouth one time when I read it to her. Yeah, so I'm not gonna read the story while I'm writing. I'm gonna try not to. You better not. I'll try, I'll try. But, Ready? So we're finally gonna <laughs> test out if my hypothesis is correct. But I still won. Ah, we'll see about it. We'll see what, what's going to happen right now once I read the story back to her with my answer choices to see if my answers are much funnier than yours. So maybe there's two competitions going on mm -mm. today. Mm -mm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You have a whole thing of map? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. So here's the story. It's with the title, Vacations. A vacation is when you take a trip to some shellfishy place with your danky family. <laughs> Usually you go to some place that is near a barber shop or up on a auntie. <laughs> Have you ever been up on an auntie? <laughs> A good vacation place is one where you can ride... What did I even say? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a good vacation place, this is a good one, is one where you can ride churches or play Duke Nukem or go hunting for jock straps. <laughs> you don't go hunting for jock straps. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're, you're swallowing all the mm -hmm. water. Now you're good? Ta taste test? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. I like to spend my time thrusting or vomiting. <laughs> there it is! That's one! That's one! <laughs> oh boy. All right, so we're gonna take it back a little notch. I like to spend my time <laughs> thrusting or vomiting. <laughs> when parents go on a vacation, they spend their time eating three ceiling fans a day. <laughs> and fathers play golf and mothers sit around <laughs> Last summer, my little brother fell in a police station and got poison corn plant all over his ass. <laughs> my family is going to go to the school and I will practice skiing. <laughs> parents need vacations more than kids because parents are always very wet. <laughs> All I hear is your feet kicking. Well, okay, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna reread that one. Parents need vacations more than kids because parents are always very wet. <laughs> and because they have to work 34 hours every day all year making enough funders to pay for the vacation. <laughs> wow. 
making enough fathers to pay for the vacation. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that one was perfect. I'm alive. How was that? That was so funny. My face hurts from holding in the water. That was so funny. <laughs> well, all right. My favorite part was the wet parents. You like wet parents? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I loved it. Well, and that you like to spend your time thrusting or vomiting. <laughs> thrusting or vomiting. I mean, listen, it's one or the other these days. Oh my God, you're gross. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that kind of concludes our little challenge that we wanted to do together and work together on. I um, won. I'll be honest. She gets the cake on this one. She won, even though we all saw the fountain. We'll do an instant replay after this. Stop. <laughs> That we'll, big do an one? In, we'll do an instant replay of what happened when we read some of her favorite parts. <laughs> okay, if you guys like this video, please feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell, also visit us on our blog, on our blog, and subscribe to our newsletter. As always, comment down below what you liked and what you want to see going forward. And our next video actually may or may not, it may or may not be. A video challenging you guys so that'll be a, a little different it'll be a lot of fun to see what you guys come up with when we post that challenge if not it's gonna be Angela's turn to face the consequences of making me eat canned clams oh my god if you guys don't know what I'm talking about please cl click on the video that's gonna be right on our outro which is starting actually right now yeah.